Hello friends, Shurma here. A very warm welcome to my channel. How about some calla lilies today? Yes, today I am going to share with you how to paint calla lilies in one stroke deco art style. So the materials needed for today's project would be canson, white watercolor paper, a stencil optional, some flat brushes and some acrylic colors. I have a Canson white watercolor paper which is having a stenciled olive background and it is 15 centimeters by 6 centimeters in size. Now these are the colors on my palette bamboo, olive and white and I am using flat brush number 6. So here are the curly whirly long leaves. I will drop the link for the leaf tutorial in my description box below. There are quite a few parks in our neighborhood and the avenues are tree lined. So under the shade of the bigger trees are beautiful flower beds. Whenever I go for walks, I get to see those very pretty flowers. And calla lilies happen to be one of them. If you ever happen to come across calla lilies, have a very close look at the leaves. They are long and a bit broad and very wavy. So that is what I'm trying to achieve here as well. Those waves might come across as a bit intimidating, but anything can be achieved with practice. Those are the stems. I am just extending them here and there to connect the composition together. Alright, now is the turn of the lilies. So I have acrylic white, light green and magenta on my palette and a flat brush number 6. So I am loading them with all the colors and blending them well. So here are the lilies in the making. It actually looks like a trumpet. The neck area needs a little more blending and we will come back to it once it sets. I am looking at the second lily from the top. Hence this position. That is the center of the lily which goes very deep inside. The stems with a liner brush and I've added a few dark long leaves that will give some dramatic effect to the entire picture. Those are the stamens of the lily. And the pollen. I 
I'm just adding a bit of grey to the centre to make it look more deeper. And once I'm done with this, I will go back to the lily neck and blend it very well so that there is a very natural progression from light green to magenta. If you have enjoyed today's tutorial, do let me know in the comment box below. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. See you very soon. Bye-bye.